Xbox is committed to next generation hardware with a family of supported devices all led by a first party Microsoft designed and branded next generation console. Insiders close to AMD and Microsoft's hardware roadmap have outlined the future specs that will power the next generation Xbox and they want to go bigger than ever because this may be their last. In July of 2025, Xbox and AMD announced their partnership to build the next generation of hardware devices nearly a year and a half before the consoles would launch. This got fans very excited and concerned about the possibilities paired with shortfalls and expectations. The next Xbox, according to insiders, is slated for the end of the year, November 2027, which means that leaks for hardware would be coming out sometime in early 2026. But thanks to Moore's Law, a YouTube content creator that has strong ties with AMD partners and information, service from tech and hardware experts working at AMD, we have an early look into what the power will be in the next Xbox. Magnus is the code name for Microsoft's next Xbox platform, built around a custom AMD APU or accelerated processing unit. This blends cutting edge CPU and GPU technology. There are a lot of technical calls that describe the power behind the next Xbox, and we can break them down into simple comparisons. The CPU is a Zen 6 or Zen 6 C core. This is AMD's upcoming architecture, promising massive gains in efficiency and performance. The Zen 6 C is a high core density variant of AMD's upcoming Zen 6 microarchitecture. Leaks suggest that Zen 6 C will feature a leaner core design to achieve much higher core count per chiplet, potentially reaching on the Xbox up to 12 cores with potentially 24 threads for simultaneous multi-threading. This is important because the next Xbox console will also act partially as a PC. This design prioritizes raw compute power and cost effectiveness over the per core performance of standard Zen 6 cores. In contrast, the Xbox Series X from 2020 had eight cores and 16 threads. The GPU is an RDNA 5 graphics core rumored to rival desktop class GPUs like the RTX 5070 Ti. This is essentially an $800 desktop GPU equivalent, but with only the raw graphics compute power. But comparing to Nvidia or other desktop PC parts doesn't really tell the whole story. Don't expect the Xbox Magnus to be affordable. The GPU in Xbox Magnus is reported to be RDNA 5, but leaks have also shown it to be a unified architecture called UDNA. This massive GPU, higher resolution, more finely detailed characters and models with dedicated ray tracing cores built to handle nanite and lumen or path tracing lighting effects, something that the Xbox Series X and PS5 could not do past 30 FPS in most games. Moore's Law also explains that the Xbox Magnus is set to be graphically two times more powerful than the current PS5 Pro. The RAM will feature a 24 gigabyte GDDR7 on a 192 bit bus. This is a major upgrade from the Xbox Series X, which had 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM. The upgrade will allow for bigger open worlds and stronger multitasking, which will be very important for the console PC platform unification. One more questionable choice is a dedicated AI render core that will assist performance and resolution. The CPU and graphics engine of Magnus are very impressive, even for PC standards, and they will do most of the heavy lifting of high quality and detailed character model environments and complicated enemy and NPC logic to make games come to life. But what the AI render cores will do is allow all of this to come at life at a higher visual clarity while also boosting frame rates or holding them closer to target, meaning you'll get 4K imagery and a more stable 60 or 120 FPS across major games. The memory bus is a massive 384 bit bus suggesting high bandwidth for 4K 120 gaming. The bit bus in computer graphics for gaming handles data transfer. It moves information like textures, models from memory to the graphics processor. This paired with a standard M.2 SSD will possibly be two terabytes of game storage, but I also expect the Xbox Magnus to have a standardized port for the proprietary M.2 slots that Xbox used on the series consoles for compatibility. 
Hopefully the form factor also allows us to upgrade the internal SSD. The discussion that the next generation Xbox would be a PC or a console hybrid PC has been ongoing for about a year and slivers of information have leaked along with hints from AMD and Xbox about their next generation strategy. One thing we know for certain is that the next Xbox will allow you to play all of your console games currently and any PC game currently available across multiple storefronts. Put simply, Xbox Magnus will play native PC ports of games directly on your console. But how will this work? Rumors suggest that the next Xbox Magnus will be an Xbox console first and foremost with a simplified dashboard that is universal across Xbox PC, handhelds, and the console, while allowing you ease of access to parties, friends, storefront games, etc. But in order to give you access to PC games, would you need to dual boot into the Windows 12 platform? For gaming fans not familiar with dual boots or hypervisors, this means that the next Xbox console would run on Windows 12, an operating system in the background, allowing you to boot into Windows from a separate restart on your console dashboard. This would mean a full restart and boot into Windows PC just to access all of your PC games, but it's more likely that the dual boot system will work in concert with the console, meaning you can launch your PC games and your Xbox games at will without ever leaving the dashboard. If this is all true, Xbox no longer has justification for charging for online access. This means that Xbox Live would be free for all new users and existing users moving into the next generation. One of the pain points for Xbox consoles specifically was the Xbox Series generation is a limited amount of Xbox console ports due to the smaller platform and Xbox's difficult porting process. If Xbox can run PC games, the dual boot PC hybrid solution would mean that Xbox would start allowing developers to just give Xbox users the full PC version with all of the flexibility that comes with setting frame rate and resolution, lighting and shadows and etc. Some console fans may shudder at the thought of entering into a long list of PC graphical settings, but trust me, this is much easier than calibrating an HDR TV. Since the next Xbox will also be a PC console hybrid, fans can finally enjoy many of the features not available on console like widescreen support for monitors, higher frame rates than previously locked, and compatibility with a myriad of different controllers, and finally, Premier VR headsets that are available on PC. So how much would the Xbox Magnus cost? Previous reports and speculation based off of the comparable hardware and leaks puts the Xbox Magnus at $800 to $1,000. The next generation PlayStation and Xbox are already price pointed at $650 to $750. But Xbox Magnus offers much more value than a console competitor will provide next generation since Xbox can play nearly a million games on PC. But if you can build a similarly spec PC for around $1,000, why would you go for the Xbox Magnus? If you're a long time or existing Xbox console customer, you likely own hundreds of dollars of games that are not available on PC without repurchasing them. Simply stated, the next Xbox will play all the PC games and then all of your currently available Xbox games and no PC right now can do that. Xbox and Microsoft know that the console user base tied to the Xbox brand is a diminishing return, with them likely only able to sell maybe 15 to 25 million units in the next generation console. But offering a hybrid PC console that keeps current customers and pulls in the booming PC market, and you can see why Xbox is moving beyond just a traditional console. Let's hope that Xbox can deliver the console and PC experience all in one. This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you so much for checking out this video and thank you so much for checking out more about the Xbox Project Magnus. I've covered a couple of videos on this channel and if you want to see a comparison to the PS6 and the next Xbox, you can also check out that video and the Ecstasy podcast where we talk about the generation being held back by some choices that Sony are going to make in the future. If you ended up learning something or enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified of new content. If you want to further support what we're doing here on the Cold Eastwood channel by feeding my dog Copper and other things like that, you can do that by hitting the join button below or joining the Patreon. Those will get you early access for giveaways and so much more. And yeah, this is Loki.
Also, you can support the channel by checking out that podcast. It's on 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, and we'll talk about all the gaming news there as well. But let me know what you think about this Project Magnus video and what you think about the future $800 or $1,000. Are you going to go for it or are you just going to get a PC or just let me know what you think in the comment section while you do that. As I always say, please be nice.